Well, hey there, it's Anthony Metapier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com and I'm here just to do a quick live stream this time to let you know that the, well, I'm going to give you a key takeaway from the introduction of the Memory Code by Lynn Kelly. So excited that this book finally arrived today and, uh, you know, it's just an amazing, an amazing book and, uh, of course, it's really cool when you uh, open up a book and you see one of the blurbs is by Dominic O'Brien O'Brien, and, uh, and, you know, I'm never even sure if it's O'Brien or O'Brien. It seems to be spelt O'Brien, but uh, maybe uh, somebody can clear that up for me because I, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's spelt differently than maybe it's supposed to be pronounced. In any case, um, so cool that this arrived because I've been waiting for this for a long, long, long time. And one of the reasons why I've been waiting so long for it is because I couldn't order it for Kindle because of where I was living in Germany. And... Um, I also couldn't order it because I was not I was underway and I wouldn't have gotten it. So now I finally got it and I've read the introduction and uh, it's kind of cool actually because just for my birthday I got these Aboriginal uh, bookmarks from April and it's just like perfect timing uh, to have uh, Aboriginal bookmarks for the memory code because the subtitle here is Unlocking the Secrets of the Lives of the Ancients and the Power of the Human Mind. Hey, thanks for that uh, like, whoever gave that. Keep the likes coming. Um, we might have time for a little Q&A if, uh, if uh, you got questions, but let me know where you are. And I'm in Brisbane and uh, just super excited, taking a break, I'm rendering a video that I just finished editing and uh, going to be super excited about getting that out there. But the key takeaway really that I got from this is, from the introduction, is uh, that memory techniques in the ancient times were, they were about culture, they were about survival. And survival is, is about culture and culture is about survival and the orality of survival is uh, super important and it's just an amazing thing. And if you get into this book, like so much is just gonna leap out at you from the first page because uh, Lynn Kelly is talking about how that she actually was able to use these ancient memory techniques that, uh, you know, to memorize lots and lots of information uh, and it's just like very quickly and very powerfully and she and this is what's so exciting about this book is that she's able to blend the ancient Greek tradition it seems with the Aboriginal tradition that a lot of this book is uh, is about and I, I mean that's what I'm assuming it's about based on the introduction and um, guess what it has to do with it has to do with linking uh, information with uh, locations Loki, or as I like to call them, magnetic stations, but more than magnetic stations, like actually building what we now call historical sites in order to have some kind of a way of remembering lots and lots of information that connects to culture and survival. And so really she is saying here that she probably has cracked the code on what Stonehenge is and other related article, uh, no articles, uh, archaeological sites that uh, there may be a mnemonic purpose for them and related to culture and survival. So these like landscapes of, of uh, sacred places and so forth are really mnemonic devices. They are memory techniques. They are massive scale memory techniques. And so you know, uh, I'm going to be doing my best to get an interview with her, full book review, after I'm done. And I want to talk to her a lot about what, uh, I mean, I could talk to her for an hour just about the introduction, but I want to talk to her a lot about what she calls song lines. Because she's saying here, and she mentions this thing called an African memory board. I can't wait to figure out and learn more about what that is. But uh, she's talking about just memorizing so much information just using her neighborhood and these song lines. So this is going to be a great book to read and uh, it's called The Memory Code by Lynn Kelly. And uh, I, I, I've uh, had some, some uh, uh, correspondence very brief here and there with her and uh, never did get an interview going before because of some chaotic travels that I had. But um, really, really interesting. Anyway, full review of this coming up. And, uh, well, I don't want to uh, give away too much of a, uh, of a secret surprise, but uh, I'm hoping to do a contest around this book as well. So make sure you are subscribed to my mailing list and watching these videos that I put out because you might be able to get a copy of the memory code. And not just a, a digital copy, but the real thing sent to your door. Wouldn't that be cool?
it would be because reading will change your life and it will develop your mind and your memory and uh, anyway that's all for this live and uh, you, you know if you haven't been to Magnetic Memory Method before and listened to some of the podcast episodes and the interviews there's lots of interviews to uh, check out so head on over there and uh, thanks for uh, showing up giving me your likes you got a couple more seconds if anybody has a question and uh, if not then uh, have a really really great time wherever you are in the world and uh, we will see you soon so thanks for being here and until we speak again keep yourself magnetic bye bye